welcome. Thank you for joining this webinar um, on Languifolio. We're so glad that you decided to take some time to listen to this recording today to extend your learning. Please be sure to have a copy of your Languifolio professional learning booklet as we'll reference it during this webinar today. And we'll also be sure to share the link with you along with the rest of the materials um, for those of you who are listening and following along. Again, welcome. We're going to take a look at our agenda for our time together. After introductions, we'll take um, a closer look at the introduction to the Linguafolio biography in your professional learning booklet. And we'll also take some time to explore the Linguafolio Canvas course that's available to you. And then we'll close out the webinar today with just some important reminders. So again, welcome. I'm Stacey Daniel. I serve as the Section Chief for ELA and Languages, and I'll let my amazing colleagues introduce themselves. Uh, this is Anne Marie Gunter. I'm the World Languages Consultant in the ELA and Languages section, and I work with my colleague, uh, who's introducing herself next, on all things we do with Linguafolio in North Carolina. Thank you. It's Atli Stocks, one of the multilingual learner Title III consultants. And thank you for watching this recording and let's continue. So before we jump into the bulk of our webinar today, pause here to take a moment to think about your interest in this PD. Which options apply to you? Are you just joining to access professional development made for ESL or world languages? Are you looking to earn one contact hour for a license renewal? Are you just gathering information to share with colleagues um, like your teams, your PLCs, your departments, your schools, your districts? Um, or are you just listening to learn about implementing our state standards from another um, from other language educators? Or do you want to find out more about state standards and resources and policies? For our next poll question, we'd like for you to gauge your familiarity with the Linguafolio for NC. So pause here and think about whether or not you're familiar, slightly familiar, moderately familiar, very familiar, or even extremely familiar. We'll also post this question to go open if you'd like to participate there. Whether you feel as if you're not familiar or very familiar, we hope that you'll be able to walk away from this webinar with some tools, resources, or even next steps for using Linguafolio with your students. So I'm now going to turn it over to Set Lee to talk about the PD booklet. Yes, thank you, Stacy. We developed the self paced professional development booklet as an opportunity to help educators familiarize with the lingua folio biography and its components. The biography is the personal language learning history that helps students set goals and reflect on their language learning and experiences. So these components create opportunities in the language classroom to talk about the language, how it's being used, and what the feelings associated with using it in different social and academic contexts are. So for activity number two that we have today, as you watch the recording, we want you to download the PD booklet so you can have your own copy and then you can explore the different links and navigate these professional learning and have all the materials and resources that you need. So we're going to share a document with all these links and you will be able to access and download the different versions. We have a PDF version that you can just navigate and see and learn a little bit about the booklet, how it's organized. We also have our professional learning page in which you can explore more information about Linguafolio and redirect your work as you explore the booklet. And finally, the link for you to make your own copy and have these processes started as you start documenting all the information and everything that you do as you learn more about the biography components. So we're going to talk a little bit about the structure of the booklet. 
We designed this uh, with five different learning tasks. Initially, uh, we have engage, explore, teach, and learn. And we included materials that will help you understand the biography components as you explore the resources and plan for integration in your teaching practice. You will see materials such as video clips from YouTube. We have the recordings from our different webinars and we have selected some clips that will help you understand specifically uh, what the component is and how you can integrate it in your teaching practice. And we also talk about the handouts and you will see all the different handouts in our classroom resources in our Linguafolio Canvas Hub. And you will also find a link to access these materials as you watch the recordings. And we recommend that you uh, open all these different links so that you can follow along as we progress in this session today. So we mentioned that we have different materials and we are trying to help you develop your own lesson plan and integrate these in different components. So you can use the template that you use in your school and then just integrate that. And this is part of that third uh, learning activity or task that you have in this uh, PD booklet. So we organize the materials and then we have different sections and we added when you look at the materials in the booklet you will see some dates because we started these in the previous semester but these dates are just there to be uh, a process for those that started at that time at the beginning of the school year but you can adjust this and start the discussions at any time with your groups of you're doing this individually because these uh, discussions are open year round so uh, disregard those dates if you are just new to the booklet and you want to start exploring. So now I'm going to invite Anne-Marie to talk a little more about the materials that we have when we talk about the biography components. Thank you, Sally. We are focusing on the biography components that support reflection uh, that are part of Linguafolio for this year's PD. Notice that there are six biography components. You see them all labeled there from how do I learn, which is usually the first biography component that teachers use with their learners. All the way to things like intercultural experiences, language activities, um, and a progress report. There's also a learning inventory. We're gonna get into that in a little more detail in a bit. The biography components are available in 13 different languages in both PDF and Word for those languages. Here's a list of languages on the right hand side of the screen alphabetized. You can see um, that this is quite lengthy. You'll notice that um, these languages perhaps are the ones that most often your students are using, particularly if they are second language learners of English. Um, these languages were chosen because they are the most common on the home language survey. Um, and they're also available in a variety of formats, as I said for you to use the way you need with your students. You can download these um, from the Linguafolio uh, for North Carolina hub, and um, you can make them part of your own system as you share them with students or set them up as handouts or however you would like to do that with the Linguafolio work you're doing with your students. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, one of our main activities today is to really look at a Linguafolio biography component and focus on what, what is there for you to use and have you think about how you might use that for lifelong language learning as well as in your classroom. So on the links document that's posted with this recording, you will find a link to the PDF versions of the learning inventory and in all of the languages listed, all 13 languages. We want you to pause for a moment and go ahead and download the learning inventory in whatever language you would like to work with it in. All right. Now we're going to focus on the first part of activity three, where you're going to get to respond to a question. 
we will post these questions in the Go Open NC LinguaFolio discussion space. So the first question is for you to reflect from the perspective of a language learner who's in your class or course. The question I want you to think about as you look at the learning inventory document is what have you already accomplished using this language? So if your students are filling this out, when they looked at that, what activities that are listed there would they say are the highest frequency in your class or course as they're learning the language you're teaching them? And again, pause and please do this reflection. Remember, you can add it to the Go Open NC LinguaFolio space for this broadcast. All right, the next question is also a reflection, but this time instead of taking the role of the student or the learner in your classroom, we want you to think about this from your perspective as the language teacher, whatever language you teach. And we want you to respond to the question, how may the reflections generated from this component, the learning inventory, inform your instruction? Remember that LinguaFolio is a formative assessment tool, so you can use this information from the biography components to inform your instruction and change what you need to change in order to better meet the needs of your language learners. So again, please pause, think about your response to this question, and feel free to post it in the Go Open NC LinguaFolio discussion space for this recording. After exploring the materials independently, the second part of the structure in the booklet includes a collaborative uh, task, and this is apply and reflect. All educators can participate in some discussions and add their comments, their ideas, and their experience um, utilizing and implementing these components. And we also have an extend section and this one describes the steps that you need to complete in order to get a certificate of completion if you are interested in this part of the learning experience. So you don't have to complete this one, but if you want that certificate, then you follow those steps in order to get uh, that part. And it's something very simple and is just documented as you have navigated through the different stages and then at the end showing uh, what you completed and how that process was for you uh, as you were navigating the different components. So let's work a little bit more on the apply and reflect section. We created a group in the library of open education resources or also known as Go Open and See. And we created a group, a specific group, for all our educators to be able to talk about LinguaFolio and share and talk about the different components that they are exploring in the booklet. So all educators have access, if they are in public and charter schools, they have access to the library via the NC Ed Cloud Rapid Identity Platform. And you can see on the screen, we have a screenshot of this, how it looks, the login uh, window for this platform. And we have also the link so you can access. And in a minute, I'm gonna click so you can see, and we show you a little bit how that interface looks so you know where to find the group and how to uh, participate in the discussions. And we also have, we know that we always have some educators that are in, independent or public schools, or they are K through 20 educators, or sometimes they come from other states and they want to participate and join us in these different activities. So we created jam boards and these boards help these uh, educators participate in the discussions. So you're gonna see, let me click in the go open and see group. And the first thing, if you access this, you're gonna see it, you're gonna see the links, is you're going to join the group. And if you are an educator in North Carolina, when you click, it's going to ask you to log in with your NC Ed Cloud account. Usually this is the 10 number digit that you use to access uh, 
power school, all the professional opportunities through NISES and the educator evaluator system, evaluation system. So when you log in and you don't have to change this and you're going to see, I'm going to switch it because my instance is NCDPI, but all educators in North Carolina need to use the NC at cloud. So just ignore that part, then use your password. And once you're in, then you will be able to click the button, join this group. When you join the group, you have access to the different uh, discussions that we have posted for you. For this activity that we have today, we're going to focus on the learning inventory. We were exploring earlier this component and you selected one language and you were answering a couple of reflection questions based on this specific biography component. So we're going to continue using this one. So once you're here, if you are an educator and you were able in, in North Carolina and you were able to join the group, you are going to click reply. And once you click reply, you will have the editing box to add your answer and then post this answer and everybody else will see it. But as we were mentioning before, if you are not in North Carolina or you are in an independent or public school or you are in a college or university and you want to participate, then you can use the Jamboard. And each of our different discussions have included one Jamboard for that specific component that we are working on. So this is the one for learning inventory. So now that you know how to log in, you can share your response here. We're going to focus on the very first uh, question and is how this learning inventory components support your learners as they use Linguafolio for themselves inside and outside the classroom. So you can pause the recording and based on your affiliation, you can use Go Open or you can go to the Jamboard. All right, now that you're more familiar with Go Open and C and the work that we're doing in semester one for our PD for Linguafolio this year, I'd like to share with you what we'll be doing for semester two that's also in your PD booklet. We're going to be focusing on the Canvas course called Introduction to Linguafolio. And you'll notice that we released that last year and we already have over 120 educators who've completed this course. So you'll be joining a great group and be able to see, see their responses and things to this course within NESIS. The Introduction to Linguafolio course is available um, through NESIS as, as you see the button up there in the upper right of the screen and also through Canvas Commons. This self-paced course is um, focusing on Linguafolio as a formative assessment tool for language learners. So it gives you a good overview in general of how Linguafolio works, how formative assessment um, looks in a language learning environment, and a little bit of the history of this tool. There's also modules on how to implement Linguafolio in your classroom from different perspectives and how you might incorporate things like autonomous learning and assessment in a way that supports your use of Linguafolio as a formative assessment tool for your students. Finally, there's modules on how to access Linguafolio and its components for free for you and your learners or students, and you can access it for yourself as well. We always encourage teachers to have their own Linguafolio because language learning is a lifelong endeavor. You'll see that there are a number of modules. Um, on the left-hand side, we have them pictured as they are um, in modules within the Canvas course where you can kind of go down through the list. Um, and you also see the graphic we've created there that looks at each module um, in a little bit more visual way, has the title of it, like module one with course orientation, module two with what is Linguafolio, and so on and so forth. There are 10 modules total, including a wrap up and, and a pre and post test that you take in order to get credit within the NISA system. And so you can uh, complete that. And once you do, you'll earn 10 contact hours or one CEU.
The introduction to LinguaFolio course, just like Go Open NC, is available to you as a K-12 educator in NC public schools, if you're already part of that um, public school system, as well as to you as an educator, if you're a K-12 educator in an independent school, like a private school, at a community college or university, or a K-20 educator anywhere who wants to offer local PD using this Canvas course. In the links document we've posted, you can download the step-by-step -step directions to enroll for the one CEU and the introduction to LinguaFolio course in our home base Mises uh, PD space online. Or if you would like to, as I said, access that outside of that system, um, or even maybe to download it and create local PD for your teachers and, and um, administrators or, or colleagues, you, there are instructions on that links page to download it and import the course in whole or in part from um, Canvas Commons into your instance of Canvas. So use those, use the Canvas course as it best suits your needs, uh, but know that it all, is also part of our LinguaFolio PD booklet for 2022-2023. We have included some extra information for you to have as you work on the PD booklet and start navigating our hub and learning all about LinguaFolio in North Carolina. So as being part of this um, recording, we usually add our attendees to the listserv and you can sign up for this if you're watching the recording and you know that you haven't participated in a live session before you can just use the short url bit.ly slash ncdpi updates and then select the linguafolio listserv to be able to receive all the information that we create about different opportunities and sessions and resources that we are developing for linguafolio we also want to invite you to our Twitter chat that we are going to host in February 21st at 7 p.m. This is going to be a short 30-minute chat in which we are going to talk about promoting portfolios, self-assessment, and reflection in language learners. So we are using the hashtag Together for emails, we are collaborating with this group of educators from across the state to bring this Twitter chat. And we also hope that you follow our hashtag LF4NC, LinguaFolio for North Carolina, and you can learn about this. We will also share this on the listserv so you can uh, participate live or in the discussion in Go Open and See, which will be our slow chat version of this opportunity in case you are watching the recording later once we have hosted this uh, chat. We also know that we have um, certificates of contact hours attendance to these live broadcasts. If you um, are participating live today, then and you will receive your certificate in the next weeks. Uh, usually is one to two weeks from the day of the live broadcast. And remember that if you complete all the activities in the PD booklet, you have the option to receive a certificate of attendance of, of completion. So then once you have completed the different components, you submit the tasks and you will receive the certificate as well. So we have some other resources, tap into resources, we have called it, and these are three um, very important resources we have for you that we have housed in our uh, hub. And one is teacher videos. We have different educators talking about LinguaFolio, how they have experience implementing this resource in their classrooms. And you can see uh, different educators from K through 12, elementary, middle and high school talking about these uh, experiences. So we really encourage you to uh, look at the document with all the links and navigate to the video re recordings and see what these teachers are talking about their experience with LinguaFolio. We also have our website and we have a link 
to the NACESFOL website because they are uh, now organizing a revamp of LinguaFolio. We call it LinguaFolio 2.0, and they are switching to the name LinguaGrow. So we want you to be aware of this change and learn about the latest um, updates. And finally, our Twitter hashtag and also our links so you can access the group and be uh, up to date of what we're doing and participate in the different discussions. Because we add discussions based on the booklet, but we are also adding, for example, this discussion for you who are watching the recording to participate and collaborate with other educators that are also watching this opportunity. And also our last resource for today, for this webinar, is the monthly leaflet Every month, we provide uh, information about professional development that we have uh, during this school year. We talk about the classrooms, classroom materials. We highlight some of those every month. We have them for word languages and ESL. So then you can explore the ones that correspond to your subject area and then you have access to all that and also more opportunities for collaboration in our Go Open and C group and networking opportunities. And as always, these are free resources that you can use. We work on an open educational resources policy. So everything that we create, we really encourage you to use it in your local context to um, Ma adjust everything and make it uh, very specific to your context and be able to use it or take advantage of these for your individual professional development. And I think we have reached the end of this video recording. This is our NCDPI LinguaFolio team. Please be um, just feel free to contact any of us. Dr. Stacy Daniel, Dr. Anne-Marie Ganter, and Sadlee Stocks. We are always happy to support the process. Our educators uh, enroll when they are learning about LinguaFolio, their first experiences implementing it, and also if they want to share, if they have used it for several years. We know we have lots of friends who have been with us during the different updates uh, along all these years with LinguaFolio. So we, we love to always hear from you. And the links to our Twitter uh, handles, in case you want to follow us, we always post about LinguaFolio using the hashtag LFO4NC.